This Quran guides to what is most upright. And it gives good news to the believers who do good deeds, that they will have a great reward. <laughs> Young scholars, you are requested to please come over here on the dais one by one for for what? What? Presentation. 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 For what? For presentation. No, on the topic you yourself chose it. No, that's not assignment. No. That's your own, your favorite topic. Am I right? So, who will initiate the session? Who will initiate? You. Akhil. Akhil Abbas. Bitte, please. Assalamu alaikum everyone. My topic of presentation is our cricket team. As you know, games are important part of any country, but in our country, cricket has now become a an important part of culture and as well as society. I don't know why this is so because other games are also played in our country and unluckily hockey is our national game but it it don't have such important like cricket. Cricket is very important game. I think because nowadays cricket is much more advertised in our country than any other game. We have just won two World Cup in cricket, first in 1992 when uh, Mr. Imran Khan was our captain and then uh, we won T20 Cup in 2009 uh, when Yunus Khan was our captain. Our team is uh, so unpredictable, I mean uh, at the time they are winning and uh, after a five minutes in just three over they, had, uh, they have lost the match. So things like that going in our cricket. Uh, we never, uh, uh, you know, judge them that uh, they are going to do this and that. And whenever our p uh, public do so, uh, they uh, they just used to then break their TVs and their hearts. And our people are emotionally very attached to cricket. I mean, uh, even if it is a, a daily worker who works on a daily wages, when there is a match, he he, he just leaves his work and he doesn't. Um, uh, care about uh, is uh, uh, you know uh, eating uh, issues or just uh, uh, just uh, switch on his TV and sits right in front of the TV and watches the match. So uh, people are too much attached. I I just uh, some uh, um, time I uh, like I would like to think that what what uh, why our people are so much conscious and uh, you know. Uh, they are attached to this game because it's a game. I mean, win and lost its part, but I don't know why. I think this is a, this is a love of country or something like that. But our people should understand this. They are mature enough that it's a game. Don't take it so much serious. Uh, uh, one of our comedian, I uh, uh, don't remember his name uh, yet. I think it's it was a 2011 World Cup. He was a great person and he was watching, uh, watching the match between Pakistan and India. Uh, luckily our team lost the match and he just um, uh, got the heart attack and he was right. So when I heard the news, I mean, I just got uh, uh, wonder what happened. So I think our uh, public should now understand this, that their team is not just according to their will. Even they don't uh, do according to their will. Uh, so uh, many facilities are given to our uh, cricketers. I mean, they are uh, so uh, much have uh, pay and uh, uh, other they play leagues as well. And uh, I think uh, they are one of the uh, most uh, uh, rich persons of our uh, people of our country. And uh, so j we should just take it as a game and uh, just pray for our team as a as a citizen of this country. Nothing more. Thank you, sir. So, uh, do you have uh, the question in your mind? If you have any question, please. Uh, how we can be attached, emotional attachment with cricket? Uh, we can't do so. I mean, do, uh, do uh, it. Uh, if, if you don't mind, uh, let me take him a question. No, again, please. Uh, how we can detach the emotional attachment of people with cricket? The detachment of the emotions, no. 
maybe we can't do that or do it as the people just thing is to do to take it as a game i mean other uh, football is most played game in the world and uh, people are more attached with that game um, more part of the world is uh, you know uh, in where uh, football is being played but the thing is that we just to take it as a game when there is a match is being played between pakistan and india we should take it a match as being played between zimbabwe and pakistan if pakistan wins that's a good if lo- uh, they lost then that's a not a big deal i mean we should uh, b- just uh, b- uh, pray for them so they can do better in next match at okay. uh, that way we can just decrease the emotions not the attack the people because now uh, our our public is like that when they attach to something they just uh, die hard to fan of that and when they are not then in mood of uh, you know listening to some another or uh, some reality they just do that but they want to there some question there some question why sometime people in favor of cricket team and why sometime he abuse the cricket our cricket team sometime they are sporting yes, and, and on another occasion no they are, they are, they are abusing. abusing excellent <laughs> now at stage no for example in a moment they are sporting they are praising and the very next moment no we see the same people for the same group of cricketers no they are cursing them for the praying abusing praising admiring very next moment we see the same people for the same characters no no they are found cursing them please uh, it's a, i mean i guess it's a realistic approach of our public uh, they just uh, expect the team to, uh, the team should do what they want uh, from the team not uh, the uh, not just uh, uh, you know understand the situation they just want their team according to their expectation this uh, doesn't happen anywhere in the world even though australia or new zealand or uh, uh, i mean india this is not happening anywhere that every team performs uh, according to the expectation of public they perform as a situation or something uh, sometimes it depend on the luck but our public don't understand this ah, okay. so brother no, brother see uh, the young scholars mr akil abasi you are following pakistani cricket team of course if i request my brother no to enlist or to talk about any three qualities the positive points of our team please uh, uh, uh yes no doubt there are uh, lots of possibilities in our team no doubt uh, one of that thing is uh, uh, the some uh, at the t- crucial time when the nation need public are in uh, so much troubles and they need some amusement from the team uh, they they give they give that and uh, no doubt they give that uh, i have uh, as uh, recently in past year this uh, there was uh, asia cup our nation was quite in trouble and uh, lots of uh, ter- terrorism is there lots of social problems in our country everywhere everyone is aware of that and we were in need of uh, uh, something like something like that boom boom like uh, which push you know pumps the uh, nation and uh, at that time shahid afridi you know struck the three sixes uh, against ashwin that time was great another beautiful thing is that i mean uh, they uh, they played lot of match for charity as of uh, shahid afridi is one of the uh, uh, men needy like that needy who needy likes to who likes to have the needy people they uh, also they uh, you know organized a match between uh, showbiz uh, showbiz uh, celebrities and uh, the other cricketers uh, mr mohammad ali shah uh, may allah uh, bless him i mean may he rest in peace he was a great person every year uh, he organized a uh, you know match between uh, showbiz and uh, showbiz celebrity and cricket team recently his son did so so uh, that's but- uh, this match is not like that international but but, but quite amazing match uh, amusement for the people people gather there they enjoy themselves so uh, means uh, uh, they give they give the uh, you know uh, something uh, happiness to their team uh, happiness to the people so that's uh, one of the big possibility uh, of uh, the cricket and uh, i i think that is enough enough uh, very enough i think because uh, uh, it's a quite when someone in uh, you know in a sad mood and you give him or uh, uh, happiness so nothing is big than that so uh, these few points are also 
other possibilities are there uh, i uh, maybe i am biased in that way uh, it's happened but i think so uh, this is the whole okay. criteria any one weak area of the team any one of the weak areas the do most time in mean, lack of constant um, uh, not constant much as they okay. should be i mean in one match if a one player is uh, you are doing a century and uh, hitting a six in uh, uh, one twice in an hour and the next match he will be bowled out on you know the uh, zero so th- this is un unstandable inconsistent un- un- in not uh, i mean this is thing is not understandable uh, but for the people as well as for uh, the you know management of uh, our cricket why is uh, going so but it is happening from the beginning oh, and it uh, will happen until the end ha uh, it 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 looks like thank you very much so thank nice you. of you ki you can sit over there no this zubair mr ayax how are you i'm good what are you thinking about your presentation no there is a great burden very heavy burden you are going to carry it over there or oh, very difficult no no sir so just be know that again be cheerful with it okay please <coughs> assalam alaikum well, my name is mohammad zubair and my topic of presentation is importance of english okay as we are aware of that english is an important language it is an international language uh, so it is supposed to every person and every nation to learn it Uh, so the uh, presence of its speaker almost everywhere in every country so it uh, speaks in abundance uh, pakistan education s- system actually based on english medium nowadays that every everyone is preferring english medium that his uh, child uh, learns in uh, english medium rather than in urdu medium uh, and pakistan governments are, are also trying to uh, make the government school to change from it from urdu medium to in english medium uh, so it's showing the importance of english in pakistan uh, there are some few advantage and few uh, disadvantage of english you know uh, uh, few advantage which i have uh, listed uh, uh, when we uh, learn english then we are able to compete with other countries you know that uh, uh, the big countries in uh, uh, world uh, which are full of big economy like that usa uh, england and some of the other countries which trade uh, so if we learn english then we are easy to trade with them uh, we are easy to co- uh, conversate with them uh, the second point that if we are aware of english then we can access the knowledge the scientific knowledge you know that uh, the scientific work the uh, researches are being uh, uh, occur in usa or uh, europe and some of the other con- continents so they are uh, so if we uh, aware of english then we can uh, uh, read their researches and uh, come to know the uh, new knowledge about scientific and some of the other knowledges and uh, the other uh, advantage of english is uh, we can separate our ideas that uh, nowadays pakistan is suffering with uh, terrorism so if we are good speaker of uh, english then we can uh, of uh, other uh, order in um different platform to convey the people that we are not terrorist uh, that is just uh, uh, something else that uh, people are calling muslim as a terrorist uh, you know there are few peoples who are making islam uh, using uh, name of islam um, but they are not true muslim so in a way that we can convey them our message by uh, using international language uh there is an other uh, advantage of uh, uh, english is that by l- uh, learning english literature we are aware of english uh, culture you know a per- in my point of view a person know everything he must know everything he must know the culture of uh, usa he must know the culture of Ara- arabians he must know the culture of everywhere that he can get knowledge and compete with everyone as as everything has some advantages there are must be some disadvantage of that thing the misadvantage of uh, english is, uh, is like that young, uh, young generation is going toward the english english literature and some of the other sort of like things so that's bring uh, young people away from our culture uh, our national language urdu you know some people are uh, can speak english very uh, good good way but they don't know how to speak urdu because urdu is our national language and national language always are uh, preferring in everywhere so english uh, uh, 
brings away our young generation from Urdu. Uh, <coughs> the other thing that uh, in uh, uh, rural areas l like villages, uh, people don't, doesn't like English. So when they are studying at high level, um, like in matriculation or intermediate, they hate English. So just the hate of English, they don't learn English. That's why they left their studies, uh, which brings our uh, country backward. So the uh, so the other bright uh, view of uh, English is English literature. When a person uh, learns English literature, he comes to know the culture of English. Uh, his thought become wider. His ideas are very beautiful. He start thinking critically, uh, keenly. So he observe nature keenly. So it's bring a person very clear about things. So in my point of view, a person who is studying Urdu. Uh, he is doing MA Urdu. He must also learn the English literature. So it's very important for everyone. So the English has some sort of advantages and disadvantages. But the advantages of English are beautiful. Uh, as we know that everything has some advantage and disadvantage up on the person who use it as advantage or disadvantage. Thank you. You please keep standing over here. Question from your side, please. Being a, student, uh, being a student of English, did it bring any specific change in your lifestyle? Yeah, of course. Uh, okay. Yeah, of course. When uh, when you are studying something, even it is negative, it has some positive things. As uh, as as we as we see that uh, if we study uh, Shakespeare, uh, Jane Austen, or some of the other writer, that he he might be about their culture, but there are some things which we have to learn about it that they love people, they care people. We can uh, learn the caring, the loving things of, from that literature. So I think that everything has some positive points. So if we focus on po positive points, then we learn a lot. Very good. Very good. Question from your side, please. Uh, what do you think that uh, nowadays a country without English language can't progress in the world? And what is your opinion about China, which is uh, doing e each in everything in its own language? Uh, 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 it's a uh, point of view that uh, we cannot, uh, in Pakistan, people saying that we cannot uh, progress without English. I don't think so, because you give the example of China. It's upon the, uh, uh, upon the atmosphere. As a creator atmosphere that they are making everything in their country. But we are not able to create everything in our country. Even we ha if we have to critic on anything, then we have to concern with the foreign uh, 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 poet or writer. Uh, so that our, uh, our society is not full of everything. We have to purchase something from uh, other countries, even from China and from other. So that's why people saying that if we, uh, as I uh, told you uh, um, before that, uh, we are trading with many countries. So if we, uh, can, uh, if we can speak English, then we are easy to uh, uh, trade with them. As China trades with other countries are not so much as our trades because we import many things from other countries. So in, uh, in this way, uh, I am saying that uh, English is important. But uh, as you are saying that it's not a uh, 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 compliment uh, obligatory for any uh, nation to that he cannot uh, learn English. Some people do matriculation in Urdu medium and got admission last year in English medium. They can pass through many difficulties. How they can bring change in your language, in your knowledge? Actually, the point you raise is the uh, fault of not English. It's a fault of our education system that people uh, study their early education in Urdu medium like primary school, or government primary school or some of other uh, Urdu medium but they uh, when came into FSC or something other uh, sort of that degree uh, the, uh, their uh, studying material change into English medium so they get lot of difficulties so uh, it's actually to change the system uh, not to language if, if someone given a one year and he was said to change the word of physics which uh, he read in Urdu to English then it's difficult for him to change in a few months uh, he can uh, but it uh, brings a lot of hard work for her for her for him so actually it's a fault of our system
Real. Nice. Actually, see, everybody makes mistakes. I do make mistakes. I make more mistakes than not than those of you as know. Keep in mind. But the thing which I want to see over here that you should be fluent. You should not be hesitant. Clear? Now, a gentleman, he spoke properly. There were few mistakes. Now, of what of pronunciation? Again, he has his own ideas. I don't agree with most of the points which he uh, presented over here. But whatever he has, that's excellent. Clear? I'll try to, for example, you're talking about China. China, China is progressing without English, so I don't agree with that. No. How? As the time passes, no, in the days to come, I'll keep explaining it, no, gradually. Well done, gentlemen. Real nice to you, and same in the case with brother Ki. Yes. Assalamualaikum. <laughs> Wa alaikum My reference point is IELTS. Okay. And uh, which is abbreviation of International English Language uh, Testing System. Okay. And uh, it has uh, it has two versions. Uh, the IELTS has uh, two versions. Uh, number one is academic test, and uh, second one is general test. Number one, jo hai, ma jo hai, uh, academic test. Uh, that is for uh, the uh, students who want to study in English language countries, uh, universities, etc. And the uh, second one is a general uh, test. <coughs> the people who want uh, to immigrate there, who want to work there, who want to practice there, uh, to training there, they choose uh, the general academic test. So uh, there are in the world uh, uh, up to 6,000 organizations who accept that uh, uh, this test uh, uh, they can be uh, universities companies government uh, professionals uh, and which version should I uh, do uh, if I am a student so I can uh, choose uh, the academic test because uh, that are made especially for uh, students if if m uh, if myself ex uh, uh, choose the general academic uh, general test so i'm not able to uh, get admission in uh, university uh, uh, out there so <coughs> i have to read the pres uh, prescription of uh, uh, the test uh, so that I i'm able uh, to take uh, admission there so that there are a uh, test format of uh, consist on uh, four parts uh, number one is uh, listening second one is uh, reading third one is uh, writing and fourth one is uh, speaking and it, it has uh, two two, uh, two hours and 45 right. minutes uh, mm, just like that uh, listening time is 30 minutes and uh, you can uh, read uh, uh, 60 minutes and uh, <coughs> writing time is also uh, 16 minutes and listening of uh, 11 to 14 minutes. There are uh, uh, three bodies who take uh, these uh, tests. Uh, first of all, British Council, and uh, second, uh, Australian, and third one is Cambridge University. Okay? And. Uh <coughs> The IELTS test, once you can uh, sit in the test, you can uh, sit four times in a, a month according to the, uh, according to your uh, demand, demand of that area, that, uh, that country and uh, that city. And if you are uh, once uh, got in the band less than your requirement, uh, you can uh, sit uh, in next session means uh, four times in a week you can uh, sit in but uh, uh, I myself recommend that uh, you have to come over your uh, uh, your weakness before sitting uh, next time on, um, uh, in the test okay and uh, <coughs> when you uh, 
go uh, uh, go in the test uh, f uh, especially for writing test and reading test and uh, so on uh, you have to take a uh, lead pencil with you uh, because uh, the test uh, is being scanned uh, by uh, by scanner and computer and uh, computer uh, uh, cannot uh, scan uh, the pen or fountain pen uh, or boil pen he, uh, that only can scan uh, the uh, lead pencil and you you have to take eraser with you because if your uh, if your answer is um, uh, not correct you can erase and uh, rewrite that uh, answer on your answer sheet so there is uh, no fail and uh, pass uh, in in this test uh, this test uh, consists with uh, bands one as zero to nine bands and uh, in international level uh, for graduation level uh, you have to pa uh, you have to pass uh, with 5.5 uh, bands to take admission in graduation level and uh, for master and PI level you must have to uh, uh, take uh, uh, 7 bands according to the uh, specification of uh, that university uh, where we are going, uh, going, going to take admission See, again, really, he has a lot of information, lot of information he has now in his mind regarding IELTS, no? But again, as we all make mistakes, he made few mistakes of pronunciation. For example, very the, the latest word which he you know, spoke that was name of the university. Cambridge. What? Cambridge. Came. Cambridge, no? Like that, no? So as the time passes, inshallah, you will come over these weaknesses, no? But keep speaking, keep speaking, keep reading, keep writing, keep listening. Clear? Yes. Speak, speak as much as possible. You know that, no? Mr. Pro is, 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 is our companion, no? It amuses. Do you have any question? Yeah, please, question from your side. How many countries are concerned with heights? Okay. And there is any authority in Pakistan who takes IELTS. Very good. Examination body, no? Is there any examination body in Pakistan which conducts this examination? Okay. Okay. Uh, most of the English uh, language countries, uh, especially European countries, are accepted uh, this uh, this test. Uh, without uh, this test, uh, you can't take admission in uh, that universities. True. And. Uh, as I say that there are three bodies British Council and Australian and Cambridge their main offices uh, are there in, in their country but, but local uh, offices are in different countries all over the world uh, there are uh, four uh, four to five offices is there in, uh, in here in Pakistan in Islamabad one Islamabad uh, I think two in uh, Lahore and Karachi. So they take admission, uh, they, they take the, uh, this test uh, for journal and academic. Okay, do you have some questions? Thank you, thank you brother. Really nice, nice, nice presentation. Please. The great, no, you don't have paper with you. You have ideas, mashallah. Yes. Very good, please. Asalaamu Alaikum. Alaikum. The topic is milk. Milk is a perfect diet. It is useful for um, children and old people. Okay. We saw many kind of milk contain. It is powdered milk. Uh, all of the milk has evaporated. All of the water has evaporated in the milk. Um, when fresh milk stay uh, a little time in a dish, uh, the thick part of milk has come on it. This is called cream. From this cream, people makes butter from it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And uh, when something much. when uh -huh. something floating uh, on the floating is taken out uh, taken off of the milk, it is called skim milk. It is it uh, is a good milk. Uh, it has a fat on it. It is not good for young babies. Milk uh, has full of protein and vitamins. It's uh, it's uh, gives uh, power to the body. It's give uh, milk uh, bo has bo uh, strong the bonds okay. of your body. The milk uh, has some uh, and so many things that uh, uh, has based on milk. Uh, the 
the people who causes disease in stomach he used more milk uh, and and milk uh, so many advantage and disadvantages uh, of the milk i thought lot of time uh, and i understand the use of milk and uh, advantages of milk uh, but uh, no idea for disadvantages of milk okay and and no milk has no disadvantage no disadvantages okay. i thought many time lot of time but do you agree with this point milk has no disadvantages no not know that disadvantages but one thing we uh, know that where there is advantage there must should be a disadvantage absolutely right sure sir, disadvantage sir i thought okay, I, I, i don't understand so do you want to say something more no sir from tomorrow on what what we are to do that one of us shall be over here rest of all we the people know we will make notes and we will note you know both things now the new things the new to us what the new to us and the second point which will be noted by each of us it will be the mistake which our friend makes over here points clear so even the presenter who is over here he or she shall be having you no know, the paper and the lead pencil in his or her hand if i make some mistake or rare i my myself make mistakes keep in mind so my mistakes shall be counted you no know, and the people sitting in front of the presenter know they also make mistakes you no know, so their mistakes shall be noted over here you no know. clear yes. whatever you want to note whatever you want to point out you no know, the weakness of us you no know, the person shall note over here and the same assignment shall be carried out you no know, the same activity shall be carried out by the one who is there sitting in front of the present the points clear so don't forget to bring your paper your lead pencil and you need not bring eraser because there is a or here it doesn't make any sense no simply just cross it and move forward any question from your side thank you very much really nice to listen to you alhamdulillah rabbi